and welcome to yet another wine and waffle vlog in which I basically drink wine and talk at you whether you like it or not it's kind of an invasion of your privacy really isn't it um, I don't have a set subject tonight as such I thought we'd just have a bit of a chat hmm I think those flowers might be somewhat past their best Mm, there we are. Yeah, so what's happening? Well, um, it's all a bit frustrating at the moment. Excuse me. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, the weather's just taken a real turn back. I thought spring had come and I was all excited and planning all sorts of things and how not to waste this year and it's just gone, it's snowed and it's cold and it's wet and it's damp and it's miserable and fuel costs a bloody arm and a leg and I've kind of gone back into, um, oh what's the word, hermit mode, just can't be bothered to go out and do anything which is a shame, um, it's not good for you. Um, <clears throat> I didn't even have a Monday road trip yesterday. And there are things that I would like to be doing and should be doing. The Honourable Stigbert von Thundercock, my MG ZT190 Plus, I love that thing. And I want to valet him to within an inch of his life and I want to take him on some epic road trips. I want to take him to Wales and I want to take him up the Buttertops Pass and all sorts of wonderful and splendid things of that nature um, and it's not happening it's just parked up out there I think I've done oh I bet I haven't done 30 miles in him since I collected him and how long ago is that now what is it um, six six weeks something something like that uh, so there's that and of course, there's Miss Henrietta Pye, the latest to come. I, I started on the epic valet and clean and make wonderful of that. And uh, weather has kind of stopped play there as well. Um, and I really, really want to crack on, um, crack on with her because um, I think that with, I mean, she's already improved, but with a little more work, she could look really, really respectable. Um, certainly the, the inside the cabin is a wonderful place to be um, so yeah uh, what else is happening uh, you might have seen the video about Shison yesterday um, I'm feeling a lot better about him today um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure the head's absolutely fine I used him tonight um, gave him a good walloping and he was good as gold, and I love that little car. I love almost everything about it. Um, I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but he's, oh, he could be. He absolutely could be. Um, ah, today is the, is it the fifth today? Uh, I think it is. And today is the day that the MOT runs out, or has now run out, on Sir Arnold Robinson. Um, and if you're one of the, oh, five now, one of the five subscribers who actually watch this dreadful nonsense, um, you'll know that I've taken a massive gamble on him by putting a, a full set of four brand new not the cheapest tyres on him and a brand new battery when he only had a few weeks MOT left and anybody who knows me will know that um, an MOT normally means an impending visit from the scrap man um, the, the little fleet that I've ended up with now oh there was no need for that dear me uh, the little fleet that I've ended up with now, I've kind of committed to them. I'm kind of committed to them all. So I don't think that unless, you know, there's a massively substantial failure, uh, I'm not going to just throw them away because they 
fail the MOT and need uh, and need a few bits and pieces doing, which I've been guilty of many times in in the past. They're all uh, the five of them now, and they're all nice things, and they deserve to be kept. So um, I've changed my attitude towards towards them all a bit, and in my mind, I'm committed to them all long term, uh, and I'm trying to up the uh, the maintenance and whatnot accordingly to to help them to kind of live on and survive. So Sir Arnold will be going in for MOT at some point this week or possibly early next week and we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know of anything that he should fail on. He had quite a few suspensiony bits done for his last MOT. Um, uh, I've put the new tyres on, um, all of the lights work with the exception of an issue with the um, with the number plate lights. I think that's kind of a, a known fault with them. It needs a little doing thing changed. Um, the, brake, uh, the brakes have got plenty of meat on them. Um, my biggest concern with MOT, especially of, with some of the forwards I've had of late, um, is the dreaded tin worm. Um, <clears throat> now, the rover, uh, Sir Arnold, has failed before my ownership um, and being welded, and it's not a pretty job. But, but, it's obviously a reasonably well done job because last MOT, and my MOT tester is, um, he doesn't cut any corners, he's a, he's a sod. Um, and it, uh, there were no advisories in terms of uh, corrosion for Sir Arnold last year. Okay, that's a year ago, he's been through another winter, but he's not, at any point in the in the last year being a, a daily car um, so hopefully 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 he'll scrape through the MOT with relatively little work maybe handbrake oh no point in second guessing is that it's an old car what will be will be we'll see um, yeah so that's about it really, everything's kind of stalled, um, there are lots of things I'd like to be doing and money's an issue as well, as I'm sure it is for so, so many people. Um, obviously as we all know everything's gone sky high, energy bills have gone sky high. I thought I wouldn't suffer too much because we were into spring and um, you know the heating wouldn't be need to be on so much or or at, at all and that would sort of take us through to September and I've got a cunning plan for uh, to get through next winter financially um, I'm going to win the lottery that's the that's the aim that's the plan either that or turn to prostitu prostitution um, we'll see we'll see which way we go with that excuse me Oh, that's, um, oh, I did this the other day. I was ever so proud of myself. I had a Bluetooth speaker knocking about for literally years that never gets used. It's, um, it's in my front room, uh, the, the front parlour, and I don't use the front parlour. I live in the kitchen. Uh, I'm either in the kitchen or in my little office upstairs uh, or in bed. Um, and so for ages and ages and ages, I don't do television, um, not interested in that. Um, I do radio and podcasts, mostly radio, but also now, of course, YouTube. Um, and I've been putting up with listening to it on my iPad with the tinny little sound. And I finally, finally thought, well, why not put the blue, Bluetooth speaker here? And I found a little spot for it up there. And I found some uh, uh, power socket and did it all neatly and tidily. So 
the sound's a lot better now. And tonight, um, well, unfortunately, I've been watching um, Project Nigel, and there's been some uh, some bad news tonight. So uh, my heart goes out to Colonel Mustard. There, but for the grace of God, go all of us Rover owners. Um, but hopefully, Nigel will. Um, <clears throat> undergo surgery and emerge out the other side. I'm quite excited about supper tonight. Um, I'm going to try some new bits. I've got this to try. Chow chow chili oil, which apparently is hot hot stuff. So I'm going to give that a go tonight, and I've got my I've got my new chow mein pan to to try out, and I've got I went to the Chinese supermarket in um, in Chinatown in Sheffield to try and get some more uh, authentic type ingredients to for my little Chinese efforts. Um, so tonight I've got some chicken that I've, that's been marinated in um, garlic and mustard and various herbs and spices. Um, and so it's gonna be that with peppers and onions some of this mega hot blow your ass inside out chili oil and some of this black bean and garlic doings. Uh, so looking forward to seeing how that comes out. We shall see. And there we are, that's about it for tonight. Um, I had nothing better to do than, than to chat to you lovely people. So. Um, there we go. I shall pour another glass of wine and in due course crack on with supper and I hope you all have a safe and peaceful night. Uh, for those of you who do watch and listen to my inane witterings and doings, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you to the now five of you who have subscribed. This is fame beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, it's absolutely extraordinary and it's a lot of fun really isn't it um, the idea of people actually choosing to spend their time watching this is really quite bizarre but I'm grateful and I will try and get better and more interesting okay guys take care catch you soon cheers <laughs>